This is exactly the same place that I was at last week. Same situation with the motorcycle, but we're going to go up the trail we came down, do some filming and camping in some of those bigger forests that I saw, and explore a little bit up the ridge, I think. Okay. Here's the second trail. This is Sand Canyon Trail and I've only been hiking for like five minutes and here's the second trail here. You can really remember this big gnarly tree here It's a well-worn trail, but I just don't think it gets used that much. I know that doesn't make sense. There's signs of horses, and there's a Rock Creek Pack Station where people rent horses and mules. And this week, there's more mosquitoes which I half expected. trails right here I know it goes across the creek back here but I just can't see it and I barely see the trail here it's kind of a hole in the shrubs. And it's deep. I crossed here. Crossed here last time, but I don't know exactly where. I'm going to do this. I think. It's a couple feet deep here. Real narrow. And now, there's hardly any sign of the trail. But it's in here somewhere, maybe here.
might just might just stay here. Very short hike, but I'm looking at heck anywhere right in here, and there's a second creek down here. This is nice in here. It's nicely shaded, but very open as far as the undergrowth is concerned. So you might see an animal coming and be prepared for it. It's a a slight rise here and there's a good breeze coming this way and mosquitoes aren't bad right now it's been hit or miss but what I look for now is a place to hang my canopy my net I didn't bring a tent this time kind of experimenting Okay, so this is my bug net squished into this tent stake bag. Um, it barely fits, but this is, that's eight ounces maybe. So I have to bring a tarp also. I guess I don't have to, but the tarp is for the ground. And just in case it rains, and it's wide enough for two people, so it's kind of like the, the floor. And this is where I'll lay down. I'm also experimenting with a bear can for the first time. It's the first time I'm using this one. Got it for 25 bucks. And it's also a chair, but I was concerned it wouldn't fit in the pack. And it just fits right on top, perfectly. So beyond that, I have a sleeping bag, ground pad, the pocket rocket stove, jacket, water bottle, and the food. And that's that. <clears throat> get it that's it that's my shelter it's a Coleman bug net I bought it many years ago for 20 bucks and worth every penny uh, you, it's really fragile Real easy to put holes in it, so I have to be careful. And the wind takes it real easily. You'd be surprised because it's a net, but it just grabs it and takes it. So you have to put boulders, rocks, and sticks around the edge. Uh, this is a good height here because I can fold it under. I want to be sure it's folded under and I'll have my tarp kind of up going up on top to keep the critters out. So the critters would have to go under the net, turn around and go over the tarp. Sort of like that, if it all works out. But the tarp could also act as a, a blanket if it's cold or if there's a, uh, an abrupt downpour. The tarp could also be used over it. I mean, I could easily stake out the tarp to these limbs to have a, a an angled rain cover. So I'm excited. I'm sitting on my new bear can. It's also a seat. I don't have a tent. I've never intentionally slept outside without a tent. First time. Here I am. This is going to be my house tonight. Uh.
And I can even cook in here. It's the last bit of sunlight. It's going to be light for maybe another half an hour, 45 minutes. I had a really spicy dinner. I've saved some snacks here in my zone. Just for the end of the night because I usually get hungry just after dinner. And so... I'm going to clean my pot down in the creek, put it in the bear can on top, and I haven't decided where I'm going to put the bear can. It's a little unsettling because it's not a private zone, like a tent. Uh, there's definitely a shelter. Okay, so you can see it from afar. So the animal, if it'll come by, will see the shelter, hopefully avoid it and not step on me. Okay, the philosophy with using a bear can is you keep all of your goodies far away from your sleeping area. They'll go for the bear can, which they can't open. Yes, it's pretty decadent. Yeah. To have a, an outdoor bed in the direct sunlight. <laughs> it's warming up. I had my coffee. It's really a unique setup here. Never done it before, so it was just a little unsettling not having that container, that thin wall of protection that probably wouldn't make a single bit of difference, but it's all mental, that barrier between your sleep zone and nature. I've had a few carpenter ants in here, a little tiny tiny bugs but neither have been a problem there are two waterfalls that I hear one is small and one is big it's kind of cool because the way the wind changes I can hear one quite loudly sometimes and barely the other so it was a, it was a good night I went to dreamland twice, 
three times actually. It seems I can't get the sleep I want in the city. Out here it just hit hard, man. The dreams were crappy though. So I'm heading up the meadow. I left the trail, but I'm looking for a draw up this way. And I'll have to cut through the, the forest. I'm trying to stick to the most open places. With the previous bear signs, you have to consider running into a mother and a cub out here. So that's why you stay into the open spots. Man, these trees are beautiful. crested the ridge here. It's quite short, but down the valley it's pretty high. And we've got these thickets of deciduous trees and shrubs that I want to avoid. And here's like a, just a little zip right through. It's, it's kind of wide here. And the bugs, they're pretty nasty in the forest. Hoping they won't follow me out here. I'm a whole lot closer now. And I can see the draw over here. It's just this thicket there to get through. Okay. Coming through. Okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Coming through. Almost, I see tracks, lots of, probably deer, maybe even the bighorn. This, this is a perfect hiding zone for them. Hey, coming through. Yeah, all in here, busy. And then right over there is where I want to be, okay? And I'm definitely going to look for an easier route down. You know, this is only 80 yards. It's too close. And I can see the meadow where I have to go back to.
Here's my draw. It looks doable, but really pretty rugged, at least the bottom part. And it looks thick with trees. Good news is, is just down here is an easier way down. And I'll just follow that small valley back. Through here. But it's nasty looking. I guess I won't know until I start. I was having second thoughts back there. And what's interesting is over that main rise, there's a whole nother canyon down this way with big meadows just like on the other side, like where I'm camped. And there's even a two track right, right here. You see it going up this way. Uh, this is the draw. It's actually not too bad. Nice and wide, okay, so this is what I prefer so it's not so close with animals. I think we'll make it. I'm almost up to the bench here where I'll veer left. This was amazing, this climb. I'm really glad I did it. It wasn't too bad. And it is the animal trail. And so I've been making noise and scanning the ridge lines and rocks and everything. There it is back there. It's the draw on the top, the saddle. That's where I'm going. Well worn. Okay, Just right through here. Coming through. Hey, hey, coming through. It looks like easy going, really. I just follow the draw. It's flat and sandy. So I was just having a snack here and I noticed this. That's a fresh bear turd, real fresh. The bugs are still on it. That means you gotta look out for bears too. I'm thinking that's the top up there. Here's the draw, and it just pretty much ends right here. I'm going to shoot for these rocks on the left. Pretty much 
much exhilarated right now. This is top of the world almost. And I'm certainly nervous. Tuck in behind these rocks and trees. I guess I'm just gonna go this way. Now it's cold up here. It's like I I can't put my guard down. One moment up here. This is it. Looking down into the Owens Valley now. And I think I'm just going to go up here for my final view of everything. Spectacular. They're worth every bit of energy to get here. And I think I'm at a place where I'll hear an animal or see it before it jumps me. Right down here is Round Valley. And there's a road down there, Wheeler Crest Road. Well, could have been sitting here for about an hour. I could sit here forever. And now we're just gonna get some more film and head back down.
Here I am wandering through the woods again. This time going down the lights a little better. I took a crash on a rock. I had a feeling it was coming. Luckily it wasn't that bad, but it hurt like hell. It was a kind of a, a pointed rock. I stepped on it. I slipped. My shin caught it. And then my hands caught this side. And then the point went right on my belly. All my way. <laughs> it didn't hurt on the belly. I think I, think I it slowed it down, but that sucked. It was a bad bad reminder how things could get okay we got the sort of the beginnings of the grass here and it might be a natural draw to follow but it's it's real thick here I'm trying to make some noise I'm looking for the trail because I know it's real close Okay, we'll go back this way now. See some more grass. This might be it. See it's opening down here. Okay, it's looking a little better. Just kind of follow the grass until it gets bigger. Hope I have the right canyon, but you know, with the direction and the size of this place, it's not going to be an issue. Here's a relief. I found the trail. Yeah, and I'm hurting. Well, tired and hurting and sore. Here it is. The last morning here was another quiet night. I think it was a little colder. My face was cold. When that happens, it's it's in the 30s somewhere. But uh, both nights were kind of cold with my sleeping bag. It's probably time to uh, relieve that thing of its outdoor duties and get a new one. So we're just going to have some coffee, pack up, and go home. It was a good trip. Just packing up here and uh, realizing how amazing this pack and setup is. And I'm just thinking if I could fit a small tent in here. Probably. I've got my stove is in here now, the bear can. And my pot is in there. Just curious to see how much food I could fit along with these other items. I've got my stove fuel in the bag. There's a an excessive 32 ounce water jug, which I could just be using bladders. Bladders are in the side pockets. <clears throat> I even have a can of Fix-A-Flat here in case I get a flat tire on the motorcycle. I should have left it with the bike, but I forgot. And so I have a jacket, my sleeping bag, and cl extra clothing in a stuff sack. This bug net will get put in here. The pad and the tarp right on the back, which isn't a problem. 
pretty nifty. This forest was actually really conducive to this setup because there were no critters here. Just surprising. You know, if you if you come into a busy location and you've got voracious mice, they would have been all over me, I'm sure. Beautiful forest. It was just uh, nice bird shows both evenings. Okay, let's get out of here.